the Taken King, Oryx. As his massive fleet of Taken finds its way to the soul system, we will seek to understand him, so that we might not fall at his feet and have the light fall into darkness. To begin to understand the Taken King himself, we must first learn from the ways of the once revered warlock Toland. Regardless of the tower's opinion of him and his motivations, he still remains the most knowledgeable on the hive and the darkness. The shattered warlock Tolan was banished due to his ramblings of magic and mysticism not yet understood by the tower and the vanguard. Now, as the threat of Oryx arises, his knowledge will prove to be our only hope. Just as Tolan would provide Eris with the knowledge to eliminate Crota, so would he be the only hope in the destruction of the Taken King himself. As described by Tolan, Crota's purpose was to snuff out the planets of the light. Crota sought to destroy Earth and the Traveler for his father, Oryx, as Crota would become the heir to the throne of the Hive Pantheon of Gods. Through Tolan's knowledge, Eris would survive the darkness, return from the pits of the Hellmouth and to the Tower to teach us how to destroy Crota. This would simply be the beginning of the war against the Hive. You killed his son with his own sword. With his rightful heir murdered, Oryx will seek to destroy all of us. The same dark magic that Toland warned about, that we banished him for, would be used against us. In his writings, Toland told about the Hive and their ability of transdimensional travel. They reign in domains outside the existence of our domain, even where the Vex cannot reach. Oryx commands his army of Taken, those kidnapped from our dimension and corrupted into a new form, Taken. These demented beasts have their will and souls stripped from their bodies and reformed into creatures of pure darkness. Possessing new abilities and dark magic, they are forced to be dealt with, ones of pure dark. Oryx himself will be the ultimate evil we must face as guardians. Oryx is the oldest hive known to us, being of complete darkness. Assumed to be the creator of the hive, he controls them and his taken army. Being of a different dimension, he harnessed the ability of interdimensional travel to bring his army to us. Traveling on a ship of unimaginable size, the Dreadnought, he continues his hunt for the Guardians as he approaches the Soul System. Oryx is armed with an Ascendant Sword, similar to that yielded by Guardians in the final fight against his son Crota. As described by Eris Warren, to understand that this nightmare logic underpins his nightmare world, and you will see why the Ascendant Blade has so much power. Along with his sword, Oryx has a set of wings similar to that of the Ahemkar, the ancient race of dragon-like entities that roamed Venus once and taught the warlock orders all that they know. If Oryx is related to these creatures in any way, his intellect would be as dangerous as his dark might. Until Oryx and his dark fleet arrives, we will simply have to wait, train, and scout for a weakness. Once this dark armada reaches the rings of Saturn and tries to take refuge in our system, we will fight and we will be ready to take on whatever Oryx has to fight us with. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.